Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all positive integers a and b, if a is greater than b, then a minus b is a positive integer. Now, in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now, we have defined the positive integers as a subset of the real numbers. And we have shown that the principle of mathematical induction holds for the positive integers. So, to prove this theorem, we are going to be using induction. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to be using axioms 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Axioms 1, 2, and 3 are just the commutative, associative, and distributive laws. Axiom 4 tells us about the real number 0, and we have x plus 0 is equal to x for all real numbers x. Axiom 5 tells us every real number has a negative, and we have for all real numbers x, x plus the negative of x is equal to 0. Now in regards to the ordering of the real numbers, we have proven the trichotomy law, which says for all real numbers a and b, we have a is greater than b, a equals b, or a is less than b. And exactly one of those is true. We've also proven, for all real numbers x, negative 1 times x is equal to the negative of x. And also, using the concept of the negative of a real number, we defined the operation of subtraction so that for all real numbers a and b, a minus b is defined as a plus the negative of b. Now, a property that we have proven in regards to the positive integers is the following. We have proven, for all positive integers n, n is equal to 1, or n minus 1 is a positive integer. And I'll call this result L1. Now, some properties that we have proven in regards to the ordering of the real numbers are as follows. We have proven for all real numbers x, x plus 1 is greater than x. And also, given real numbers a, b, and c, if a is greater than b and b is greater than c, then a is greater than c. And also, a is greater than b if and only if a plus c is greater than b plus c. There's one other preliminary result we're going to be using, and that is the following. Given real numbers a, b, and c, we have a minus b minus c is equal to a minus b plus c. Now, we actually haven't proven this result yet, and so we're just going to quickly show that these two guys are equal. And to do so, we're going to be applying axioms 2, 3, this result, and the definition of subtraction. First, by definition of subtraction, a minus b plus c is equal to a plus the negative of b plus c. And then, by this result, we know that the negative of b plus c is equal to negative 1 times b plus c. And then, by the distributive law, axiom 3, we can distribute negative 1 across this parentheses. And then, by this result again, we know that negative 1 times b is equal to the negative of b. Negative 1 times c is equal to the negative of c. And then, by the associative law, axiom 2, we can move these parentheses around a plus the negative of b. And then, by definition of subtraction, a plus the negative of b is equal to a minus b. And then, by definition of subtraction again, a minus b plus the negative c is equal to a minus b minus c. And so through this chain of equalities, we have shown that these two guys are equal. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now to start out the proof, let's first give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer a. And from here, we're going to proceed by induction on b. So by induction, we're going to prove for all positive integers b, if a is greater than b, then a minus b is a positive integer. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to show that this is true in the case where b is equal to 1. So really, we're trying to prove if a is greater than 1, then a minus 1 is a positive integer. And to prove this, let's suppose a is greater than 1. From here, the whole goal is to show that a minus 1 is a positive integer. Now, since a is greater than 1, then by trichotomy, a is not equal to 1. And then applying L1, 
if we take n to be the positive integer a, then we have a is equal to 1, or a minus 1 is a positive integer. Well, we know that a is not equal to 1, so this eliminates the possibility that this is true. So we must have that a minus 1 is a positive integer. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer b, and we suppose that this statement holds for that arbitrary positive integer b. And the whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this statement is also true for b plus 1. So we want to show if a is greater than b plus 1, then a minus b plus 1 is a positive integer. And to prove this, suppose a is greater than b plus 1. From here, the whole goal is to show that a minus b plus 1 is a positive integer. Now, by L2, we know that b plus 1 is greater than b. So then, we have a is greater than b plus 1, and b plus 1 is greater than b. So we can apply L3 to obtain a is greater than b. But then, since a is greater than b, well then, by our induction hypothesis, we know if a is greater than b, then a minus b is a positive integer. So, we can conclude that a minus b is a positive integer. And next, since a is greater than b plus 1, well then, according to L4, we can add negative b on both sides of this inequality. So, we have a plus the negative of b is greater than b plus 1 plus the negative of b. Now, of course, this is going to simplify down to a minus b. This is going to simplify down to 1. And we could show that by applying axioms 1, 2, 4, 5, and the definition of subtraction. First of all, by definition of subtraction, a plus the negative b is equal to a minus b. And then, by axiom 1, b plus 1 is equal to 1 plus b. And then by axiom 2, we can move these parentheses around b plus the negative of b. And then by axiom 5, b plus the negative b is equal to 0. And then by axiom 4, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. So through these chain of equalities, we have shown that the left-hand side of the inequality is equal to a minus b, and the right-hand side of the inequality is equal to 1. So this means we have a minus b is greater than 1. Well then, by trichotomy, this means a minus b is not equal to 1. So then, we apply L1. And we're going to apply L1 to a minus b, since we know a minus b is a positive integer. So we have a minus b is equal to 1 or a minus b minus 1 is a positive integer. Well, we know that a minus b is not equal to 1, so this eliminates the possibility that this is true. So we must have that a minus b minus 1 is a positive integer. Well then, applying L5, we take a to be a, b to be b, and take c to be 1. Well, in that case, a minus b minus 1 is equal to a minus b plus 1. So we can take this guy, substitute it for a minus b plus 1. So we have a minus b plus 1 is a positive integer. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. So by mathematical induction, we have shown for all positive integers b, if a is greater than b, then a minus b is a positive integer. And we proved that statement for an arbitrary positive integer a. Therefore, we have proven for all positive integers a and all positive integers b, if a is greater than b, then a minus b is a positive integer. So we have proven the theorem. So this completes the proof.
And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.